work it in, feed it across to Mantha. He'll fire a shot, <laughs> score! <laughs> well, what did we say in the pregame? Get used to seeing Mantha start shooting that puck now from 35, 40, 45 feet away. He scored an absolute laser beam of a goal here against Toronto on Saturday. We made the comment we weren't seeing enough of that. Well, guess what? 4.36 into the opening period. He comes right back with another one. And they are 3-5-2 and two in their last 10. Uh, they struggled. Yep. Wouldn't that be an odd... Oh! oh off the draw, score! We got a long shot from Brennan Evans, and it looked like it was tipped by Andy Neely and rock to the goal, and Grand Rapids has taken a 2-0 lead at 11-16, a period number one. Now the Admirals will play it back to the line. Alm feeds it across. There's another pass right back to Alm. Long shot, tipped in front of the score, and Colton Sissons has got another goal against the Griffins at the 16.50 mark. It's now 2-1. to one. Pulls up, dropped it back for Evans, up the left side to Mantha, and Anthony Mantha tipped it down behind the Milwaukee net. Big crowd here, oh, Ben, and another puck nice. in front, score! Griffins took it away, and right in front of it, Evan Wynn, and Anthony Cio buries it from 20 feet into the upper left-hand corner in the Griffins half. The two-goal lead again at 3-1. to one. It wasn't fast, it wasn't flashy, but it was strong. Play down to the Admiral zone once again. See how the Admirals respond to this. Now the Griffins in front, score! Martin Burke takes the pass from Tomas Nosek. And just like that, it's a 4-1 to game. And forces the issue, and the Griffins will take the puck away. And look, at here comes Athens CU speeding across the line around the defense, and score! Back in, short-handed goal by Andreas Athens CU. And the Griffins have a 5-1 to lead. And Mazanik will come out and play it himself. Now to Arvidsson, near side, Grant. He'll tee it up and score. That shot, it might have hit Lash off. Yeah, I think it hit the stick. It hit something. It sounded almost like a shin pad. Willett steers it right back behind the net where Mealy makes a nifty move. Gave the puck to Porter. Back to Willett. Into the middle he goes. And a long shot. That one tipped out in front. Mealy trying to swat at it. Uh. In front they score. Mark Zengerle looking at the goal to make it 6-2. to two. And he can rev up the Milwaukee bus now. Griffin's leading 5-4 with 11.25 to go. Every time Clune and Leambus step on the ice, you know they're there. Now they're going to drop the gloves as it Leambus just goes after Bruton right down below us. It's just a matter of time. Now Bruton does oh. a good hard right yeah. hand on Leambus. Leambus coming back with some punches in the back of Bruton's head. Now Leambus goes to the left uppercut. Looked like he failed to connect there as they move on away from the boards now. Leambus and Chris Bruton. Leambus throwing punches now. Bruton comes back to the right. Leambus, a couple of rights of his own. Now Leambus grabbing on to Bruton and still throwing punches as the linesman move in and try the two apart. Well, great performance by the Griffins. Dominating performance. They've uh, they've sent a message to Milwaukee that hey, maybe you guys don't belong in the playoffs this year. Can you take us through the goal tonight? You know, the first period. Slap shot, nice. I mean, uh, great entry on the power play, uh, set up play, uh, and then uh, obviously Zangerly was a good screen uh, when I took that shot, so it was just an overall good play. Uh, were you more impressed with that, or did you like the, the play behind the net for the assist? That was pretty nice. Well, I mean, the defenseman coughed up the puck a little bit. He didn't think I had that long of a reach, but that's a great snipe by a double A, and uh, we're just going to take it for sure. How do you think the team's playing right now? I think we're playing real good. Uh, since we lost two in a row uh, a few weeks back, uh, we stepped it up a little bit more. And uh, we're, we're just trying to finish first in our division, maybe in the conference for a banner. So we're pushing the whole way. Right. How about for yourself? How are you playing? I'm playing re really good compared to uh, the beginning of the season. So I want to step up even more for playoffs. And that's what I'm doing right now for the end of the season. Well, we came back in the zone there. and. You know, I was coming underneath the puck, I saw Ports had it and I had to play a little bit safe there and stay underneath, but uh, he chipped it right to me and, and I, you know, I just took three hard steps and you know, I just kept skating, so I had a, a little bit of a step on him wide and then cut in. And you started getting known for that, you know, that if you can get some ice, I mean, this is like the third or fourth time that you've had breakaways where you can really push and get three or four good skates in there. All the way. Yeah, definitely. I feel like if I get the, that open ice to get those three strides in and then get the puck out with speed, 
you know, it's definitely, it definitely helps me out a bit. And, you know, I can control the puck at high speed, so I can, you know, just go from there. Yeah. What do you come, come away with out of this game? No, I think it was a good one, obviously. Uh, we got the win, but I think we need to shoot the puck a little more. We didn't have that many shots there at the start. And halfway through the game, we didn't have much. But, uh, you know, if we start getting it towards the net a little more, it'll be even better for us. Yeah, I think you have 24 shots. On yeah. Play, so we're fishing. Yeah, we're but finishing. I'm using those 24. Yeah, definitely. I think we, that's something we've been working on all week in practice is getting the puck to the net. Obviously, tonight it wasn't too good, but you know we were lucky enough to get the win. And, you know, come this weekend, we got to make sure we get those pucks on net. We have an ability. We've shown it all year that you know, we have a lot of depth of scoring throughout our lineup. So in a game where you know, there was lots of that game that was even, and we found a way to score goals. And I didn't think we played. I thought we played good. I didn't think we played great. I think we can play way better than that. I thought we turned too many pucks over, and I thought we were just a little loose defensively, but we can score, and that solves a lot of ills. Right, right. Did you expect this kind of scoring? I mean, as this team is molded in place, it's different pieces from yeah. what you had. Yeah. But are you surprised by the amount of goals? Yeah. Four shots in it, too. Yeah, uh, it's, it, we've, as, as, as this team's uh, grown, it's... Um, it's been interesting to see our depth of scoring. You know, when you lose a Palkinen, you lose a Ferro, and you still have lots of guys that can, you lose a Callahan. So that was our three leading goal scorers, and, and you still have other guys that can score. So again, I think I've said it lots. It's a testament to the Red Wings scouting staff and the depth of talent within the organization, a testament to Ryan Martin, our uh, GM of, of going out and finding uh, free agents that are talented, talented people. Also the next, up. next up mentality for sure. You know, I think that's something we've always talked about. We've never worried about who's not here. We've only worried about the guys that are here, and uh, our guys have embraced that. I was intrigued tonight because you know it's sort of the variety pack. You know, you have power play, you get the next shot from Manda, you have the, the shorthander from uh, Double A. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. yeah. Hard to and then Mealy, who's you know second in the league in scoring. Yeah, yeah. No, there was definitely lots of uh, you know. Again, it just speaks to I think the depth and the ability and um, you know and and I think. Uh, Louis Mark Aubrey, somebody that's played really well, and I think he can score. I think he uh, just hasn't maybe found his way that way, but I think he's playing real good hockey too. So I think throughout the lineup we have depth of scoring, and that, that allows you to separate yourself in close games.